Because I'm doing a Latinx comedy show on Friday. There was one cheer for that because the rest of you do not believe that I'm qualified to perform at that show. <laughs> and I get that. I will, however, correct you. I am one quarter Mexican, which counts. I asked. The reason why I look like this is because my mother is so white that when she had her three children, she gave us all the same initials so she could, quote, get a good deal on monogramming. <laughs> of course, nobody thought to tell her that you can save the most money on monogramming by not monogramming at all. Am I right? No, uh, I am Mexican. My dad is Mexican. I obviously do not look stereotypically Mexican. That's cool. I've come to terms with it. My siblings, though, they do look a little bit more stereotypically Mexican than I do. Um, so, for example, my younger brother, uh, whether or not he gets arrested for possession of marijuana is entirely dependent on if he's shaved his mustache earlier that day. <laughs> Me too, a little bit. Um, <laughs> But no, uh, I grew up in Connecticut, where there also aren't tons of Mexican people, obviously, north and south. Um, but when I was growing up, I didn't really hear a lot of like negative conversations or stereotypes about being Mexican, because it's a pretty liberal area, with the exception of Montezuma's Revenge. Do y'all know what Montezuma's Revenge is? No, are we too far north here for that? OK, so for those of you who are uninitiated, Montezuma's Revenge is when they tell you when you go to Mexico not to drink the water because it could give you some potential digestive issues. And it always came from girls I went to like middle school and high school with who would then proceed to post pictures on their Instagram of themselves double fisting frozen margaritas <laughs> as if that ice is not also made from water. <laughs> Which of course begs the question, is it the water that's the problem, or is it the fact that this is the first time you're eating seasoned food in your life, Karen? <laughs> because if we're being honest, there's really only one ice us Mexicans need to be concerned about. <laughs> uh, I'm also bisexual. Don't know if you don't believe that about me either. That's fine, too. Um, Bisexual Visibility Week actually overlaps with the first week of Hispanic Heritage Month. And so I would totally be in the apex of my power if anyone believed I was either of those things. <laughs> I do think that uh, I should start some sort of group for bisexual Latinas in Chicago so we can do that like drive down the street thing blasting sweater weather, I guess. <laughs> but we'd have to find the one bisexual Latina who can drive. <laughs> Talk about a unicorn, am I right? <laughs> my name is Courtney Zelazny. Thank you so much. Have a good night. <laughs>